Hi YouTube, this is Miss Creative 47 coming to you with another video. This video I'm going to show you how I change ammo into a different color. So let's get started. I did a Google search and I came across just his face. That's all I needed, just his face. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our right and you're going to see this too right here if you can see where my arrow is at. And it's called the open the trace window. And if you click on that, a new window will open up. And the only thing is highlighted is the select trace area. And you're going to click on that. Now your arrow still look like an arrow until you move it to the left. And it looks like a plus sign. So you're going to take your plus sign and you're going to left click on your mouse. And you're going to drag that plus sign over ammo. Just like that. And released. And now you see that he has a yellow outline around him, but you need some cleaning up to do, like the little black spots here. You want to make sure all that is yellow. So we're going to go back over to our right, and you'll see a little blue box with a white check in it. You're going to uncheck that box. And now you see it's all, it's too much yellow right now. We just need the outline. That's all we need. So we're going to go back over to the right, and we're going to go down where you see the threshold right here. And you're going to go over to the right and you're going to see this little blue arrow and say adjust the trace threshold. And you want to move that to the left until you get a smooth outline. Just like that. Just like that. Real smooth. Now you're going to go back up to your right and you're going to go up and see like a little butterfly. It looks like a little butterfly, but it's, it says trace. And you're going to click on that. Now it trace all that yellow part that you need. And you're going to left click on Elmo and you're going to move the image to the left. You still have his image, but you also have the outline right here. And this is where we're going to work from right here. <clears throat> now you can't, you can't do any color right now because he's still attached. We need to release the compound. We need to get all those little things away from him in order for us to uh, color him. So you're going to click on the outline Elmo. You're going to go up to object right up here. And you're going to go all the way down to where it says release compound path and you're going to click on that. Now all the stuff that we need to change colors we can do now because we released it from um, the the object. And right here if you see at the bottom these are the words that was on on the page with Elmo. We just have to slowly get them out the way. Just click on each individual one until you get rid of them without clicking on ammo and deleting ammo okay it may take a little time but you know it, it will benefit in the end once we get everything out the way and usually I know how to just go ahead and get rid of it but for just the tutorial I'll just go ahead and show you how to get rid of it but um, we just gonna try to going to try and delete as many as possible. Uh, nope, I clicked on Elmo. I clicked on Elmo again. Let's try it. I might leave it. Okay, I got it. Now, okay. Now, the outline, the black outline over here is this part right here. And I want to grab that and pull it to the side. Okay. Now, that's the black outline. So let's work with this black outline. So we're going to click on it again. We're going to go up to this paint bucket right here. We're going to go over to our paint right over here, and we're going to click black because I want it black. And then we're going to go over to the right, and where you see these colorful lines, you're going to click on that. More colors coming up. Just for the outline, we're going to click that black. I want to get rid of that red outline. Okay, we'll leave him right there. Now let's work on Elmo face, nose, and eyes. Now let's do Elmo's face first. We're going to... Click on Elmo's face and then decide what color you want. So I'm saying let's do this like weird green. And this is just the outline. If you notice, it's still clicked on the outline, which that's fine because I, I want to get rid of the red anyway. So I just go ahead and click on that. And it's just doing the outline. And then I'm going to go to the paint bucket to flip, fill it in. All right. But see, now if I put Elmo background behind you can't see through his mouth so let's get rid of that so I will need to get rid of this open his mouth up so let's open his mouth up by take left click and dragging your mouse to cover his face and just his mouth so if you notice if you can see 
I have a box just around his face and a box right here with the four squares around his mouth. So now we're going to go up to object and we're going to go all the way down and it says make compound path to open up his mouth. Now his mouth is open and now you can see the black through there. Okay. Now let's start on his eyes. We're going to left click and drag the mouse over his eyes and make sure you get the outer eye and the, in the two circles because we need to open that circle up. So we're going to go back up to object and we're going to go to make compound path. path. So now we need to color the eyes in. So now since the paint bucket already filled and we already got the, the two eyes checked, we're going to go over and click on white. Then we're going to go over and click on the lines and we're going to click the outline white. And if you notice, Elmo is coming alive. Now let's get rid of, let's do his nose. Now this is when you need the image back over here. Now you're going to click on his nose, just his nose. And then you're going to go over to this uh, paint dropper here. And you're going to click on that. And you're going to click on Elmo's nose. And it just did the outline. Now let's fill it in by going up to the paint bucket. Click on the paint dropper. And click on Elmo's nose. And there you go. Now let's move Elmo to the left. And let's put the puzzle back together. And now you have a different color and you can use kind of I use my arrow key sometime to get everything back in position where it might look decent and I think that's about right there it looks nice and what you do is so uh, the eyes and the face in the background won't move you drag everything together you see every box this one has the, the black outline the face the nose the two eyes all in a separate box you're gonna go all the way down to your left and you see these two boxes touching click that and you have Elmo all right well thank you I hope this helped if you have any questions let me know if you need me to help you with anything just let me know send me a message uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a, a thumbs up if you like it if you don't you can give me a thumbs down you know that's just the way it is some people like stuff and some people don't but until then, I'll see you later. Bye.